Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin because we're getting closer and closer to the monthly candle close. There's some very important things you need to be paying attention to. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading at $70,468, up about 0.67% on the day. Bitcoin Dom is trading at 51.87% down a minimal amount since yesterday but when you exclude stable coins we're basically at about 53.9 percent all in all here guys seeing some chop on the dominance level expecting it to reach that 55 to 57 percent level around the bitcoin having which is 20 days away guys getting closer and closer expecting some big volatility as we get closer to this having be prepared for some interesting flush outs Maybe even some significant rallies to the upside, but I really want to pay attention to where we're at on the monthly candle close. So when we look over at the daily right now, we are putting in this corrective period. We've had this move to the downside. The bottom, in my opinion, is most likely in on this move right here. This is a higher low, which is very bullish. The trend is still intact here, guys. Higher low, as long as we don't spill over here. But the volume is getting squeezed right here. I'm expecting a bigger move to break out. Probably, you know, it is the a holiday weekend. There was no trading on Friday. We'll probably see some big moves come Monday. Probably tomorrow we'll start to see some, some bigger explosive moves. I'm really curious to see how this volatility starts to play out as we get closer. I mean, guys, look how close we are to the halving. It's 20 days away. We're very, very close to it. Very, very close to it. And like I said, I think there's a lot of uncertainty here where people are thinking that either we're going to, it's going to be a sell the news event or we're going to see a big rally into it. In my opinion, I do lean into the idea that it probably will be somewhat of a sell the news event. That being said, what does that look like if that does happen? Well, Let's hope first, before it's a sell the news event, we get a little bit of a move to the upside. Because when we're looking at technical analysis, the technical analysis side of it, if we don't see that move to the upside before a corrective period of the downside, then unfortunately, this structure right here, I would not like that. I would not like to see that play out like that. Uh, it would be a little bit of an indication that we'll probably be trading to the side and to the downside for a little bit longer than expected. But, that being said, when you zoom out, that if we do see that move play out, where we see a little bit of a just sideways into the halving with a spillover to break below the higher low of about 61,000, then we go into that corrective period, trade sideways, find maybe a low around... 57,000, I think that's an appropriate level to be looking at. If we do spill over, that would be the next level I'd be looking at, 57K. But, guys, you need to know that that, that that does not mean that it's over, that the bull market's over. Honestly, honestly, if we do see a longer corrective period around that 57 to $60,000 price level, sideways price action, it's going to set us up for a big move to the upside. Especially if we don't get that spillover below 57K. If we just trade sideways, right around here, above 62,000, between 62,000 and 70,000, man, oh man, that will set us up for some big, big moves to the upside. And that's what I would like to see play out. I would like to see sideways boring price action for a little bit. Then after the halving, Start to make some big moves to the upside. See Bitcoin dominance rally significantly. And really get this bull market started. You know, I said, it sounds kind of ridiculous saying that after we've had over a year of up and to the right. But the true mania has not come yet. It's not has not come yet. We also have the monthly candle close closing in 5 hours and 15 minutes, guys. If we close above $65,000... It'll be seven green months of positive closure in a row. 
for Bitcoin. The first time in history. Very incredible stuff, guys. Very incredible stuff. Yesterday I was talking about a video that maybe we could see this continue out. Maybe we see this trend continue where every month for the rest of the year is positive because of the Bitcoin spot ETFs. That the inflows are just so heavy that month over month we're going to have closures, positive closures. It's possible. It is possible. Do I think that this is the time where that happens? I lean to the idea that if there would be a time, it probably would be now. Because S-curve adoption implies that it would be time. Unless the next step of the S-curve mass adoption would be Bitcoin becomes a reserve currency of the world. But I think that that is a step that won't be clear. I think once that happens, we won't know that it happened until it already did happen. But I do think that it is extremely bullish that with all these spot ETFs, and I think that it could create mass adoption on a significant level. So maybe this is the, I hate saying it, but the super cycle. You know, uh, when people say the super cycle, that usually means you're close to the top. <laughs> but uh, there will come a time, like, when it, things become very bullish, that it's on the table. It is possible. It is possible to have a super cycle. We could be in a super cycle. That could be a reason why we broke highs before the halving. It is possible. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you think. Because I'm very curious on if you think it's possible that we could have 12 months in a row of positive monthly candle closures. I think that's a very far-fetched, but I think it's possible, especially if we're in the appropriate point in the S-curve adoption model. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. But if you stuck around this far, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out some awesome referral links we have down below. In the description box below, we have a $4,100 sign-on bonus to Femex. All you got to do is click the link, deposit, trade a little bit, get a bunch of free money. Also, go follow me on Twitter at 333BlackC. I'm very active over there. Have a lot of fun talking with you guys. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.